This video is made with the sponsorship of Ecrotech New Zealand, one source for all your beekeeping requirements. Hi, Trev here from Trev's Bees on Facebook and YouTube. No, we haven't started on horse breeding, we're still sticking with the bees. Today we're out uh, in one of my apiaries and we're actually going to split a hive up so we can make two breeding nukes for our queen raising. So this is um, one of the films that we're making on the queen raising series and I just invite you now to have a look around at my office. Why would you want to be a beekeeper? Well this is it and this, especially when you get the helpers come up and say hello. Okay so what we're going to do is we're going to make some queen raising nukes. These will be two queenless colonies so we're going to use 10 of the frames out of these 20 frames to make a queenless nuke or two queenless nukes and in this case we're going to put them into paradise uh, nuke boxes but it doesn't matter they could be any nuke boxes if you've got a five framer these are six then you would make a four frame nucleus in our case we're actually going to make uh, a five frame nucleus out of a six frame box. So about three or four days ago we came out here and we put a queen excluder down here. Didn't bother to find the queen. She's either in the top box or the bottom box. So we don't have to find the queen, or not initially anyway. She's either in the top box or the bottom box. And the, when I go in there in a minute, the first thing we'll do is try and find eggs. Once we've found eggs, uh, then we know which box the queen's in and we can now start taking action. In these boxes I am going to want a frame of food each, that's nectar. I want a frame of pollen and I would like to find three frames of brood, preferably with two frames of uncapped brood to get the uh, house bees working around that and then we'll probably take another couple of shakes of bees out of here to put into here to make it go well. If we happen to find the queen, and we'll have a look for her, I've got a little queen uh, cage here. It's just a little pill bottle which I've drilled some holes in. And so I can have the, uh, the queen out of the way. Once I find the queen, we can do what we like with the hive and it's not, a, not an issue. Okay, so first thing up, as, as always, I give the bees a little bit of smoke, make sure the smoke is going really well, hope it'll strap up, and now it's time to get dressed, because we could end up, by the time we do all this, with a couple of grumpy bees. As normal, I put the lid down so I've got somewhere to put uh, put the top box. This is going to need another box on here very shortly, and probably all these are because the bees are bringing in a fair bit of nectar at present. When you get this white waxing on here, the bees are bringing in nectar. So I put that down there. Have a look on here to see if the queen is on here. And she's not on here. I always like to start from the bottom box, so we'll start down here. First thing I do is I crack all the frames. Makes life a bit easier later.
very gently lift out the first frame and this one is all nectar and there's a, a big lot of pollen up here so what I'm doing first off is I'm going to try and find some eggs We have a queen cell in here. She's just about due to emerge. All right, we've now been through that box. There is no eggs or brood uncapped larvae in the bottom box. It's now just about all full of nectar. So what I'm going to do is just while we're working on the other box, I'll just put the lid on here, keeps them all quiet. So we go through this one doing the same thing. Crack the boxes, crack the frames. I use a bit of smoke just to push the bees out of the way. This is all nectar. I'm just having a quick look to see if I can see the queen on here. It would make life a lot easier if I can actually spot her. Because I'm sure she's not in the, the bottom box. Alright, we've run into a bit of a problem in that uh, I don't think the queen's in here, in here anymore. Um, that they're in the process of either getting to swarm mode or that they're going to uh, supersede. So we had a little bit of a change of plans. We're still going to do the same thing. We're going to make up two colonies and I'll find as much bees as I can. I'll keep looking every time I move a frame to decide on which I'm doing and how I'm going to do it. We're going to use the top box because um, it's got... Uh, a lot, of, a lot more brood in here than there is in this box, so we're going to use a bit of both. So we'll use this frame for starters, because this one has got pollen and nectar in it. And we'll put that in there. We'll put one in each hive on the outside. That frame there is just too big and too full and I don't want to frame that big. So we've got plenty of bees on here and a lot of brood. This will all emerge in the next uh, week and uh, it'll be good. It'll boost the bee numbers. There's also a bit of open brood here. So just up in here there's a little bit of open brood, uncapped. So we'll put that in that box. I'm having a look again as I'm going, just to see if I can find the queen. It would make life easier. 
if we uh, do find her. And I'm checking if there's any cells here at the same time. This will go in the other box. It has got brood in it. Again, nice frame with brood on it. Lots of brood. We've got a queen cell, a little cup, play cup down there. Another one here. We just make sure there's nothing in those. We don't want any stray queens emerging that we don't know about. Another nice frame with brood on it, lots of food. There is just miles and miles of nectar in here, in this whole hive. Bees are all nice and quiet, they're not flying, doing anything silly. Beautiful day today. Alright, we have a queen cell down here. So I'm just going to get rid of that. Because I'm going to graft into here, I don't want any queen cells around. Right, got some more queen cells here. Nothing in them. Now what I also want to do is I want to make sure there's a lot of bees in these hives, these nucleuses that I'm making. So I'm now going to go around and I'm going to steal all the bees out of here. So the likes of this frame, a good chunk of bees sitting on it. Have a look to see that the queen's not there, she's not. I'll just come over here and I'll shake those bees into there. Now I want some more bees out of there and I still need another two frames for over there. This is a good pollen frame, so I'll put that over in here and I'll put it on the outside edge. Food always tends to go on the outside. Alright, so that's got another frame with brood on it, so I'll take that out, put that over here. This now has got its five frames. Both boxes have got five frames and now I want bees. Again, having a look for the queen, but I'm sure she's not here. See, these, there's still plenty of brood in here, which is going to emerge pretty soon, though. These bees that, are, that I'm taking away 
will be replaced pretty quick. Plus you've got to remember that all the field bees are out and there's probably almost as many field bees out as there are bees here so there'll still be plenty of bees to look after this hive. Alright, so we've got about as many bees as we want, so now what we need to do is just put another frame back in here. We need a blank frame in here so that the bees can, uh, so I can put a grafting frame in there. Our two queen raising nukes are now ready to go. We'll take them away to my queen raising yard and uh, I'll do a graft on them today. You can wait up to two or three days but I'll just do it today. And I'm now going to put this back together again and make a bit of room for them in the process. Notice, even all the frames up, get them all back in the middle. Look at those frames. Uh, that's, uh, Wax melts pretty quick. Now the last thing that I always do before I put the hive back together again is I have a clean up. So I get rid of the wax off there. And I go down Obviously, 
I don't need the queen excluder in there now because uh, we've done what we need to do and the queen excluder can stay here on the hive. The lid's going to go on in a minute once I pick up all this wax that I've just scraped off. I keep all that wax and melt it down uh, and then it's uh, available for re-waxing frames or hand cream, other things. Uh, it's worth around about $30 a kilo at present, so um, well worth picking up. Always have hype straps on because my helpers over here every now and again get a bit enthusiastic and decide to check up on the hives when I'm not there and they're pretty easy to knock them over. So that's it, we've made our nuke, or nukes, uh, queen raisins. So we'll um, be heading off shortly to the queen raising yard. And in the next video, we'll uh, show you how to graft some queen cells, some of the equipment that you're going to need, and we'll uh, put the grafted queen cells into these hives and hopefully see how they go. So that's it from Trevor's Bees, Facebook and YouTube. We'll catch you around in the grafting yard.